welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Chen Hong and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a passing examination question on the topic of adaptations. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 5. The pictures below show insects A and B. The question tells us that insects A and B look alike. Insect B can sting its predators, but insect A cannot. How does insect A benefit from looking like insect B? I'm going to tell you a story. Today in school, you have this classmate called Bob the Bully, who is very big and tall. Since Bob bullies people, do you think people will want to go near Bob? Who want to get bullied in school? So naturally, everybody will avoid Bob. But in school, there's also this classmate called Chen Hong, which is me. And I always get bullied because I'm very small and short. So for a long time, I have been thinking, how to prevent myself from getting bullied? Then one day, I found the answer, which is to dress up to look like the bully. So I stand on fake legs to look as tall as Bob, and I wore very big shoes like how Bob would. I even go to the extent of wearing big clothes to look just like him and also to wear the same bag as he does to school every single day. By looking like Bob the Bully, I realised that when my friends see me from afar, they will think that I am Bob the Bully and will avoid bullying me. That made me very happy in school because I do not need to get bullied anymore. But do you think I can guarantee that my friends will not bully me anymore? The answer is no. Because from afar, I might look like Bob the Bully. But if my friends come close enough, they can actually tell that I am not Bob the Bully. I'm actually Chen Hong, the one to be bullied. So why am I telling you this story? Because in this question, there is also a bully. Do you think insect A or insect B is the bully? The bully in this question is insect B because it can sting its predators. And when we look at insect A, we realize that insect A cannot sting its predators, so nobody is afraid of insect A. What insect A is trying to do in this scenario is to look like insect B, so that when predators see insect A, they will mistake insect A for insect B because insect A looks like insect B that can sting its predators and will avoid feeding on insect A. And this characteristic of insect A looking like insect B is called mimicry. One of the things that my students usually get confused with is this term called mimicry and another term called camouflage. What is considered camouflage and what is considered mimicry? Camouflage is when an organism looks like or blends in with its environment in order to prevent predators from spotting them easily. While mimicry means that the organism is trying to look like another organism just like in this question, whereby predators can obviously see that insect A is there, but the predators will avoid eating insect A because they think that insect A is another organism, which is insect B in this question, that is more dangerous and will want to avoid it. So with this understanding, let us find the statements that explains the benefit of insect A looking like insect B. Statement A, it helps deter predators. What does this word deter mean? It means to keep away. So statement A is saying that when insect A look like insect B, it keeps the predators of insect A away. According to our discussion just now, we see that predators of insect A will avoid feeding on insect A. So is statement A a benefit for insect A? Yes, let us put a tick. Next, statement B says that when insect A looks like insect B, it helps attract mates for reproduction. Do you think insect A wants to look like another organism to attract mates? No! You can think of yourself, right? So if I were to think of getting a girlfriend, would I dress up like a crocodile to attract girls to be my girlfriend? Of course not! Not only will I not attract girls to be my girlfriend, but I might also attract crocodiles to come close to me. And they might even end up attacking me. So for insect A to look like insect B, do you now think it helps insect A attract mates? No! We have already discussed that the purpose of an organism looking like another organism is for their predators to avoid feeding on them. So statement B is not a benefit for insect A. Lastly, statement C says that it helps insect A camouflage amongst its surrounding. Earlier, we have discussed that for insect A to look like insect B, the concept is mimicry and not camouflage. So let us put a cross here. 
After looking at all the statements, we see that the only benefit for insect A to look like insect B is statement A, which gives us our correct answer to be number 1, A only. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you would like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!